Hello and welcome back to War Thunder. Today we're going to take a little bit of a look at the J7W1, Japanese 6.0 BR aircraft. I will say in short, I do like this aircraft, however it has a few problems. But basically it was designed as a high altitude, high energy interceptor, basically a bomber interceptor carrying four 30mm cannons. I will say I really like these kind of designs, a pusher aircraft design. It's very fast, it doesn't turn well with the forward canards, but it seems to be relatively effective as I will show in this video, however, it has its issues. So it, it's a love-hate relationship, but I'll show you what happens. So, first of all, we're in a game. I'm showing you halfway through it because this is, yet again, one of the only games had to have a decent battle in. Simply because, well, at the 6.0 BR, I have an issue with, we face a lot of jets lately. And the issue is, anything this thing can do, a meteor can do better, so we're kind of stuck in the middle. But anyways. It is an aircraft that you will notice that is extremely fast. This is not a slow aircraft by any means. However, it just doesn't turn that well, as you can kind of see, because of those forward canards. It is an aircraft that, I will say, when used properly, it is quite good. However, in, in reality, it shouldn't be as good as it is in game. I know that everybody's probably kind of turning their heads. If you face a team that actually knows how to use their Mustangs, know how to use their Bearcats and everything else, there's nothing much you can do besides dive down to the deck and hope to god you can outrun them. Or, you just go in a head-on and use a 430 mils and just decimate people. But, it doesn't always really happen that way. So that's why I'm kind of torn with this aircraft. I think it's something that is fun when it works, and when it doesn't, you get quite angry. Um, but besides that, I think it's actually a good-looking aircraft. I kind of enjoy looking at it, and I saw with the screenshots, I think it's a really cool-looking aircraft. But anyways, let's get back into the game. So, you got a bunch of P-51s and Bearcats, one of them down here, there's a Tiger Cat. They're down here at low altitude. They're just... <laughs> what are you doing, guys? What are you doing? They're, they're, they're letting us turn, fight him, and letting all that happen. And they really shouldn't be letting us do that. They should be, shouldn't let us get away with that. And that's kind of one of the big things lately, is the fact that, guys, if you're flying American teams, <laughs> climb, stay up high. Well, there's the Tiger Cat. Pulling down below. And I figure, you know what, go on the vertical, take a bit of a turn. Now, I'm not going to end up getting this guy right here. But I will say its roll rate is acceptable. It's a very stable platform. That's one thing I really do like. With a lot of that weight being in the back when you're firing your guns, it's surprisingly stable. Ooh, get away. Get away, Bearcat. But, now, notice my speed I'm doing here. <laughs> this thing's not slow. And at level flight down the deck, I am going to run down that Mustang. And I've noticed this thing keeps up its speed. It isn't slow at all. It's surprisingly fast. At first, I didn't think expect it to be that fast. I figured, oh, I might be able to keep up with them. No, you can run them down, which is... There aren't many aircraft that are faster than this thing on the deck that are props. I mean, you got maybe the Sea... Well, probably the Sea Fury... Um, uh, maybe some of the Griffin Spits, and then you have a few of the OP Russian, like LA-7s and whatnot and things, because they're just Russian. But you just put a few shots and, well, you kill the, the people you want. That's one thing about these guns that I will really like to highlight, is the fact that if you hit, they die. Uh, typically that's how it goes, or you do some massive critical damage, you do something in which it's major to the enemy aircraft, and you have enough ammo to do it, it's not like... It's not like you only have 50 rounds to do it. You have 300 plus, which is just enough to get quite a few kills. Now, going back to what this aircraft is designed for, it's designed for a high altitude bomber interceptor, bomber destroyer. Um, quite frankly, you, you find yourself, I've played about probably 10 or 15 battles in it, and you're in either one or two snares every time you play it. You either spawn in it and realize, oh, I'm in a jet game, and they all outturn you and outspeed you and one up. But if you actually get into a prop game like this, you find that usually people don't play enough bombers for this thing to really do its job. So you end up being an assassin of some sort, opportunistic. You go in, take whatever kills you can, and just get out of there. Now, granted, this game doesn't really show it because, quite frankly, I've only had snippets here and there. But anyways, this P-51 goes into a dive. He tries to kill him, and well, that's when the stability of the firing platform. It's just so stable. I it, it's find it really easy to get shots with this thing. And just bang, bang, and then bang, bang, you're done. 
So, okay, so that's 251, so not bad. Um, anyways, going back to the point. So, it's hard to actually use this aircraft for what it was designed for, which is somewhat of a letdown, but <laughs> it's worth under. What do you want? So, at this point in the match, it's really just the B-17, and I have no clue where he is. I figure I might as well go back to the airbase just for the hell of it. I'm just going to take a little flight. Uh, I will say about this aircraft, be warned if you're getting one, it's make sure that you don't suffer from compression and things like that because at high speeds you can lawn dart this thing straight into the ground. Um, that's why if you're pulling any high G or high speed maneuvers, I would suggest making sure you have altitude. Altitude is your friend in this thing. You know, yet again the only reason why I was low most of the time was well that's where all the enemies were. You know, if if I had gone up high, to be quite honest with you, there was nobody up there earlier in the video. I went up way past the clouds, around four or five thousand meters, and no one was up there, so that's why I went back down. It becomes a common theme with this thing, especially in Jetland. Ironically enough, with all the jets and everything, a lot of them are down low. But oh look, we find a B-17 landing on a runway because reasons, because he can. Ugh, you know, st these arcade players getting into realistic, I don't know what he thinks he's doing. And we actually get to see what this thing used is for B-17s, but it's just, just, it's just slaughter. Why bother? And he's dead. So, yet again, overall I'd say I really like this aircraft. It's just hard to use it effectively. The flight model seems to be correct. It seems to be pretty effective. But alright. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate your time. Let me know below for the comments if see what you feel. And uh, I shall catch you next time.